What's up guys, my name's Alex. Today we're gonna be walking around asking some of our Braves what's the quote of the day, because I'm not feeling it today. Let's go. Hey Nels, Nels. Hey, what's the quote of the day? What? What's the quote of the day? Quote of the day? Yeah, what's the quote of the day? Quote of the day is, um, I think I got it. Life is like a snowball. It just gets bigger from here. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Coach Tommy, what's what's the quote of the day? I'm speechless today. Speechless. Come on. All right. Christian Perry, what's the quote of the day? Nothing. Come on, Perry, give us something. What's the quote of the day? Nothing. No, no oh. quote, man. Hey, Mateo. Mateo, what's the quote of the day? What? What's the quote of the day? What's the quote of the day? The quote of the day is, uh, people believe in aliens they never saw, but don't believe in themselves they see every single day. All right, thank you, thank you. Mr. Masio, what's the quote of the day? What's the quote of the day? Yeah, what's the quote of the day? For today, just any quote. Always do your best. Does that sound good? All right, thank you. What's the quote of the day? For what? What's the quote of the day? <laughs> what's that? Come on, a quote of the day. What's that quote of the day? Like, like a quote, like give me some motivational some motivational stuff. Bro, what do you want? Motivation. I want to like have a have a have a good practice today. All right, thank you. Hey, Chris, Chris, what's the quote of the day? What? What's the quote of the day? Um, I don't know. Come on, give me something. What's the quote of the day? Um, maybe eat smart. Eat smart. What's the quote of the day? Um. I love Andrew Banalis. What's the what's quote? If you're not first, you're last. Oh, all right, all right, thank you. What's the quote of the day? Um, I love Lucas Stone. Nate, Nate, what's the quote? Of the day? Nate, bro, my name's not Nate. Andrew. All right. Quote of the day. Love everybody, especially Andrew. Yeah, and live life to your Andrew, what's the quote? Live life to your fullest like this guy. All right? Be like us. What's the quote of the day? Um, shoot, I don't know. Come on, give me something. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. All right, you don't oh, got oh, it. Wait, we're, we're, go we're going with Caleb. Caleb, what's the quote of the day? If it ain't snowing, I ain't going. Oh, hard. What's the quote of the day? Quote of the day is when you're doing something hard, like sports, don't forget, it takes real self-discipline to schedule suffering into your schedule every day. Hey, Keegan, what's the quote of the day? I'm going on. What's the quote of the day? Keep Jesus in your life. All right, thank you, thank you. Excuse me, what's the quote of the day? Huh? What's the quote of the day? Ask him. What's the quote of the day? You got it, bro. You got it. Is that Gerald? What's the quote of the day? Guys, I'm revealing the cameraman right now is Gerald Leva. It's cold day. I'm eating, bro. Chew faster. I'm eating, bro. Eat faster. I'm eating, bro. Hey, Cassius. Cassius, what's the quote of the day? Don't do drugs. Hey, what's the quote of the day? Um, what you're going through, you're growing through. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Brady, Brady, what's the quote of the day? Quote of the day? Don't, don't put off the good that you can do today that you can do, no. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Don't put off the good you can do today, tomorrow. St. John Bosco. All right, thank you. What's the quote of the day? I have a quote of the day. Uh, when, life's, when you're down in life, get back up. All right, thank you. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of At The Break. I'm feeling pretty motivated from the responses that we got from some of our fellow Braves. Thank you. What's up, guys? I'm Dime Martinez, and we're back for another edition of Wreck of the Month, and I'm here with Thor Abro. Hello, it's MTV Cribs. It's my baby girl. Uh, call it, it's, it's called The Shack. That's the main name for it, but I call it Lucy, personally. Back up. So... This is, this is the whip. Um, mainly, I use it for school, surfing. That's pretty much it. Don't do much else with it. And yeah, that's it. Let's get on with the interview.
If you look right here, you can see Toyota, right? Nah, but come over here. Come over here. Come. Look right here. It's a Toyota Tacoma. You might be wondering, why is it called Tacoma? Because the longer it ages, the more it starts to look like a, like a taco, right? <laughs> why don't you tell me more about this whole situation with the bunker? All right, so basically, I didn't hit it. I didn't hit anything, but the person I bought it from might have been a little messed up in the head and they hit a guardrail, not my fault, but I just haven't fixed it because it makes it more aerodynamic, as you can see, duct tape. It goes over. It, it follows the curve, so. It's a little speed demon inside, baby. You don't know, a little speed demon. See, look at you might be wondering why there's only two seats in this truck. They need to make sure there's enough truck bed to hold up the California housing market. If you look right here, you can see that this window is still hand cranked. Well, this is actually uh, a gift from the dealership. See, it ensures that all the power goes to the engine. Uh, you might be wondering, this truck bed is not open. You can try. And it's because it threw it back too hard. Why don't you tell me about that lady right there? Is that another victim of the shack? Don't say that, man. That's Lucy. I mean, it looks like you're kind of obsessed with her. Got her in Hawaii, put her in the shack, man. Been here ever since, simply put. What it is, man. I'd like to know more about All right, taking over this tour. Come with me, come with me. All right, it's taking too long, man, too boring. I'm gonna give you the inside scoop of the shack, all right? So, starting off. We got a pencil. Never know when, you might need one, just all time. Got in the backpack, of course. Got an Arizona iced tea at all times, best drink in the world. Back there, we got some towels, wanna go to the beach. Got my dog bed, exterior window. Note to self, you cannot see outside of it when it's nighttime. It's too dark. And finally, we got a old radio. Never fails. This truck's so old that you had to get an aftermarket one if you want to play, you know, low pump. You never know, man. Doris, so one more question for you. What does that mean? This means super rare speedster. Super rare. If you know, you know. Next, we got the gas cap, lastly anti-theft proof and gas prices man had to lock this john up can't be having no gas deal you know what i mean gotta keep it hey money's money man time is money i'm out goodbye bye third well it wasn't that interesting episode anyways thank you for keeping up with this edition of work in the month and i'll see you guys next time
Thank you.